in, in this case, as there are in Batson and JEB. If, if there's a line between religious affiliation and belief, and we argue that there is, then all of the harms caused by the ratification of state-sponsored stereotypes are present in this case. There's a harm to defendants, the excluded jurors, and society as a whole based on these challenges. Well, what's the stereotype? The stere in this particular case, what's the stereotype? I think there are two, Your Honor. I think the first is that all atheists believe the same thing, and I think the second one is that atheists would be unable to be impartial in a case where the defendant is charged with it. I strike a rock band guitarist because I have the notion that rock band guitarists are crazy, weird people who will not, as an ordinary matter, be willing to support law and order. Okay? I'm the prosecution. Now, that's a stereotype. Is that a no-no? Isn't every peremptory challenge based upon a stereotype, or almost all of them based upon a stereotype? Yes, Your Honor, but this Court curbed the extent to which stereotypes can be used in the context of constitutionally protected classifications. Well, we're back to your first point again. Well, yes, Your Honor, but rock band guitarists are not constitutionally protected the same way that religious groups are. Well, Republicans are. You can't strike a person because he's a Republican? Your Honor, I see my time is up. You can answer that. 